Creole is very close to French. So the history here, Haitian speaking Creole, is basically because we were colonized by France. So this looks kind of like an heritage we got from France. But what happened with Creole, the way Creole started was doing colonization. Uh, like the slaves, we, you know, when Christopher Columbus went to the Caribbean, basically came to America, they started to use the Indians. But these people didn't use to hard work, hard labor. They started to die massively. So what, what they had to do, they had to go to Africa and bought other slaves to continue working in the, you know, in the field over there in Haiti and all over the Caribbean. They needed slaves to, to work for them in the plantations over there. But what happened is most likely those slaves, they, they didn't understand each other. They didn't have a common language because as you know, in, Af in, in Africa, only one country can have like seven languages, different like dialects the way they call it, they, they speak over there. So that was a problem. They were trying to understand their master and they were trying to understand themselves. So that's how Creole, the Haitian Creole got started. So what happened is these slaves, they would hear the French words because remember they weren't allowed to go to school. So there was no way for them to learn a proper way of speaking to each other. So they would start like picking up words from their masters or from the way we call them the free men. So you could buy, by the way, you could buy your freedom during that time in Haiti if you have money. Those free men could speak French, they could go to school, and the slaves started to pick up from these people. Let's say the, the owner of the slave or the master would say, bonjour, with an R at the end. What they, what they picked up was bonjour, which is same thing, but different pronunciation. Uh, yeah, like say au revoir. In French, we have the R. You can hear the R at the end, au revoir. But in Creole, we say au revoir without it. Those are like the main differences. And also, French is more f fancy the way I was saying we have the sounds like the way we do things in French is different that can be confusing with Creole like in French we have you you close your mouth to say anything like un un it is close but in Creole we say eh that's the same thing it means it's in one no, it does mean one eh but un in French that's the, the the type of difference we have with the two languages. So same words, same spelling most of the time in different, totally different pronunciation we, we have. Let's say another thing we can say in, in French. Uh, in French we can say, uh, for example, uniform, uniform, in, in uniforms in English, uniform in French. Not only there is a U at the beginning, I said U, Form. There's an R before the M, the, the spelling, but in Creole, I would say uniform. Not only I don't say the U, I put as an just I, E. I is E in Creole, so in French also actually. So I say uniform. So the pronunciation for someone from France is totally different and can be confusing. If you're from France, you would like, what is that? Because that word doesn't exist in France, in French, actually, and any type of French doesn't, it can be in, in Quebec or Paris, because it's totally, the, 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 that's another way of saying things, but it's totally Creole, it's not their own French. So that if I'm speaking with someone who speaks, who, from, who is from Paris, for example, and I said, je suis un, Eleve, we say, what's in? That doesn't make sense. So he would get just we, but because I speak Creole, I said, eh? What's in? I have to say, je suis un. So the French, they have the linking, the liaison, je suis un, 
would make sense, but in like an English linking them, je suis un élève. That would totally make sense. So, let's say for example, Obama is speaking French, uh, uh, English with someone from Utah. Basically, you can see both people, they speak very well, very well spoken, but you still can see a difference. So, that's how it, it, it is with Haitian speaking French and someone from Paris. But basically, it's the same way of saying things but the friends people from friends they have more things coming out of their nose that's why we realize which we don't really do but we understand each other pretty well it's pretty much the same thing we, we, if when we speak in french except we can get we can get them confused with clear words which is easy the way i explained the way i explained earlier because the words they're so close because for example if i'm saying book this is my book in English and French I would say c'est mon livre c'est mon livre with someone from French from France you would see the difference the way I say it although I said the same thing I would say c'est mon livre it's like the sounds like more nasal than we do in Haiti but if I'm saying it in Creole I can get them confused c'est livre moi it's the same thing, actually, exactly the same thing, but I don't put all the fancy accents. C'est mon livre. That's, that's, that would make sense for someone from, from Paris. But it would say, c'est livre moi. It's like, uh, no, it doesn't totally make sense. So, so those are the differences between Creole and French, and French, sorry, normally. Uh, but to come back to answer the question that like speaking the difference between French is like sometimes different accent you can see the different region that person you can recognize that person is not from Paris but that person is from Quebec but they all can understand each other pretty well yeah when we're speaking French except Haitian can confuse people from France because we can pronounce differently mm -hmm.